He is a bit of a dreamer. He is a bit of a visionary. He is Professor Wong Yuk Hien, always thinking of what to do next to make a difference. This time he is fighting a battle, a battle against the urban jungle, Singapore. The city's skyscrapers trap heat. All that glass, steel, and concrete attract and lock in the tropical heat. We have done an extensive study in Singapore, and it shows that the in the urban area, the air temperature can be as much as five to seven degree higher than the rural area. Professor Wong says it's the urban heat island phenomenon, and he wants to stop it in its tracks. As long as he lives in the urban jungle, he's determined not to take the heat it gives off. Professor Wong is not alone in his quest. He is constantly in touch with other like-minded researchers who are looking to cool down hot cities. His partner in crime this time is from Japan. Kazunori Matsunaga works in Shimizu Corporation, one of Japan's largest construction companies. And he's trying to find ways to cool down the buildings they build by tapping into nature. In Shimizu's corporate philosophy, we have the uh, so-called social dynamism, uh, which, in short, uh, we should contribute to the earth. Uh, so through our system, even though it's a small, it might be a small issue, but uh, uh, we may be able to contribute to the earth. Shimizu's invention is the green wall, or the parabienta. It involves cooling down buildings by simply lining the walls with plants. Palabienta, the meaning is, uh, in Latin, uh, pala is for, and bienta is in uh, uh, ambiente. This is for environment. So for environment is the actual name of parabienta. And uh, we are the so-called leading Japanese construction company, in, in both in Singapore and Japan. And uh, we want to bring this uh, to Singapore to uh, make the uh, Singapore more green. Greening buildings is not new in Japan. Since 2001, all new buildings in Tokyo that are greater than 1,000 square meters must green at least 20% of its usable roof space. Shimizu's vertical greening system has been helping to bring building temperatures down even more. Professor Wong found out about Parabienta in one of his regular discussions with Shimizu. He sees it as a likely solution to Singapore's rising temperatures. So far, we have been working mainly on introducing greenery at ground level, you know, like using uh, landscaping. And also, uh, the other thing that we have done is to green up the roof. Uh, so we introduce uh, green roofs, uh, rooftop gardens and so on, and uh, we have found it to be very effective. Um, but the challenge here is that uh, there's a limited roof space that we can green up, you know, especially for high-rise building, the roof area is very, very limited. So therefore, we have been thinking of ways to introduce greenery to the vertical facade. For both Professor Wong and Shimizu, Parabienta is a win-win solution. Shimizu gets to market its green idea here in Singapore, and for Professor Wong, it brings him one step closer to winning his battle, to bring temperatures down in Singapore's urban areas. There is just one problem, finding the right plants for Singapore's green walls as the climate differs greatly from Japan's. Will the local plants be able to take the direct heat of the sun? A stress test is carried out at a lab specially set up at the National University of Singapore. In this lab, uh, we put up the systems, uh, we measure very extensively the surface temperature at different locations so that we have a very good data in terms of how the different types of uh, plants can help to reduce the uh, heat gain uh, through the walls. And beside that, we uh, vary the types of plants and also we vary the uh, moisture content and observe the plant uh, to see whether they can uh, survive for example, for a period of two weeks without water, you know, uh, which uh, seems to happen in Singapore. Shimizu's challenge was to find a way to fix the plants onto the walls and make it look pleasing, long-lasting, and without damaging the walls. It has finally developed solid but lightweight panels of polyester blended soil for the plants to grow on. But these features are costly, especially since they are special materials coming out of Japan. 
And so making it cost efficient for Singapore is Professor Wong's biggest challenge. Currently the, the cost seems to be very high. Um, so we are working towards developing something which is relatively low cost. Not only low cost in, in terms of the installation, but also in terms of the maintenance cost. You know, we want to ensure that the system is almost maintenance free. This is the moment that Professor Wong has been waiting for. The test results. Can plants on the side of walls make any real difference to the high temperatures? This is actually a computer system that can uh, dynamically uh, lock in all the data that we have been collecting on the performance of the vertical greenery system. So as you can see from the monitor, we monitor the surface temperature at different parts of the vertical greenery system and also compare it with the exposed concrete surface. So from there we are able to see the amount of heat that is going through the wall with and without the vertical greenery system. It has been very impressive. During the very hot day, uh, the surface temperature of the concrete can be easily 40-45 degrees Celsius, but the surface temperature of the uh, greenery system remains at about 26-27 degrees Celsius. The time has come to take the research out of the lab. He now needs a buy-in beyond the lab. His green wall, or the Parabienta, is on display at the horticulture park set up by the National Parks Board. The board is one of Professor Wong's earliest collaborators. The board's botanists have helped him identify the right plants for the local Parabienta. The basis was to actually choose hardier plants. That means plants that require lesser maintenance, lesser water requirements, and were known to uh, survive in harsher uh, urban climates. So what happened was that we have, based on our own uh, horticultural practices, we have an experience of choosing certain uh, plant groups. And then from here, uh, we then began to sieve out those that were not uh, appropriate. As with most environmental inventions, Professor Wong knows he has to have the support of the governments and businesses. In this case, the developers and the corporations who own the skyscrapers for his green walls to be a success in Singapore. But Professor Wong also knows he can't afford just to wait for that to happen. There is a lot more work to be done. I guess we are all uh, aware of the issue of global warming. You know, uh, indeed, the threat of global warming is very serious and uh, Singapore will not be spared from this. So uh, I'm really just doing my part as a researcher you know, to look into something that can make our built environment more eco-friendly, more sustainable. And I believe that will contribute towards a very important part of uh, trying to mitigate this uh, global warming issue. Yeah.